Hello, everyone, and welcome back to positionspecific.com and welcome to the Defensive Organisation session number three. When working in the organisation moments of the game, we like to use technique, skill and game practice process for our players. So when looking at defensive organisation, out of possession, we have an individual model and a team model. So individually, can our players scan? So can they see the ball, see their unit and see the danger? We ask them to think about their individual movement. So adjusting footwork and body shape in relation to where the ball is and where the attacker is. We ask them to think about dictating. So they can they deny, delay and deflect or force the attacker where they want them to go. And defending. Can they win the ball cleanly or force the opposition to a mistake? So taking those four individual actions, we look into our team model. So desire. So personal desire to compete personal duels all over the pitch. So can they outwork and outfight the opponent? We ask them to deny. So as a group, can they deny the opposition space between the lines? So vertical compactness. Can they deflect? So can they deflect the ball wide and fill the four nearest channels to the ball? So horizontal compactness. And again, finally defend. So collective pressure on and around the ball carrier to win the ball cleanly and set up an attack. Defensive organization, technical practice. So all three practices in this session have a defending from the front slash pressing theme. And in this particular technical practice, which takes place in a third of a pitch, we have three mini games. The first game is a 2v3 in the marked central area where the goalkeeper will start with the ball and play out to the CBs. As soon as that happens, the number nine and number 10 can go put them under pressure and try and score a goal in the main goal. Once a goal is scored or the ball goes dead, we move on to game number two, which is a 4v5 game in the whole of the third of the pitch. Again, the white team will look to put the Reds under pressure and see if they can score in the main goal and the Reds will look to score in the mini goals. As soon as this game's finished and the ball goes dead, the coach will play a quick pass into the attackers, in this case, the white team, who will look to go and score a goal. Once all three of these games have been completed, we start again with game number one. Defensive organisation, skill practice. For this skill practice, you'll need half a pitch, but the area is the width of the 18 yard box marked all the way down to the halfway line. This practice starts with the Reds goalkeeper in possession and the Reds are just going to look to build the attack and scoring the goal on the halfway line, but they must play through the two red players in the red zone that's marked. All the white team are looking to do is press and win possession and score in the main goal. The two red players in the marked area are locked into that box, but the two white players can move out of the box if they need to change who they're marking. All restarts start with the red goalkeeper. Defensive organization, game practice. So within this game practice, we're looking for the players to take what they've learned in the technical and skill practice and apply it in a full 11 v 11 game. In this practice, the red team are the attacking team and the white team are the defending team. And we have two starting positions. The first starting position is a goal kick where the reds will just look to build the attack and the Whites are going to look to press and score in, in the main goal. Within this practice, we're going to work on two presses. And the first press is a press from the outside, but we're going to look to force the play inside. When that happens, we can get our fullback to jump onto their fullback and see if we can win the ball back in a 3v3 in that particular area. As soon as we win the ball, we're looking to go and score as quick as possible. The second starting position is from the coach. He's going to play into the Reds fullback or centre backs, and they're going to look to build from the marked line. This time, we're looking to force the ball wide and see if we can win it in a wide area and attack from there.